has to work with you. And uh, you, you have to release your emotional baggage. So what happens is the divine gives you into your spirit the energy for healing. So if you're 20% in your body, the most you can ever get is 20% healing. Because your spirit is like the catcher, getting the energy to you. Then from there it goes into the other dense bodies in which we have 108 of them. And the main one is the emotional body. And the emotional body now will take away your energy because it's not a, a life form that's really high in energy. It's not a spiritual energy, but it lives off your emotional energy in your physical body from your spirit. So now it sucks the energy out of you. So you may get a 1% healing because you're not in your body enough. And then you're not in the moment. And so that should be the disclaimer. Everybody gets a book and they go, oh man, this is the greatest book I've ever bought. Man, I'm really locked into this book. And then all of a sudden they go, it doesn't work. Well, of course it can't work. How can it work if you're not in your body 100%? That's the ascension process. Get into your body. And you're not going to ascend with your physical body if you're not in your body physically. It's impossible. If there's all these teachings out there that are in books and that, that the different practitioners are doing, which, you know, which are telling you that, you know, they have it, you know. They don't tell you the first thing, get into your body 100%. Your spirit isn't stupid. Your spirit is part of the divine. It knows how to do all this stuff. So as far as wasting your money going to Egypt, buying special rods, buying special little trinkets, buying necklaces, buying whatever, you know, going to classes and workshops, it's not going to help you because there won't be any mind energy whatsoever at the universal shift. It's all heart energy. Heart energy is only in the moment. The mind is not in the moment. Yes? How do you do this? I, mean, I, I don't know anything about this stuff. So. How do you get into your heart? Ready? Uh -huh. Do a healing right now. I'm going to count to 10 backwards. So just visualize an elevator, okay? 10th floor is your forehead. We call it your ego self, your waking consciousness, whatever. This is your stuff, okay? And the first floor is your heart. And we're going to drop it down. The light's just going to be doing this healing for you. And, when, and we'll do it probably about five times. You're going to feel the energy going into your heart center from your waking consciousness. Okay? And then you're going to feel like you're inside of your heart. This is where you should be when you meditate. Okay? Here we go. Coming backwards, dropping down like an elevator. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You should feel your, your, your thinking like your head's inside of your heart right now, okay? Anybody sense that? Okay, that's where you should be for your whole life, okay? Right now you're connected to the divine. Could you explain that? Okay. What just happened was your, your thoughts went into your heart center. Okay, if you're not there, we'll do it again. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, how's that? Can you feel the difference? Okay, that's where you should live your life. You're in the moment right now. Okay? When you get out of the moment, then you're in mind. Mind's a trap. You get all the sacred books that are going to tell you to get rid of your mind, go into your heart. This is where you want to live your life. Well, this is where your spiritual guidance is. I get people who they say, well, I'm going to check with my guides. Okay? And they, they're in their head. Be a hundred entities in your head buzzing around. Here's your guidance, you know. Your true guidance is your heart center. This is your spirit. This is where you want to go to continuously. Drop down into your heart. If you're not in your heart, you don't have the guidance that you need. People use the angels, etc., to help them. So, uh, what you want to do is to always have your spirit be the doorway, the entry point to these energies coming into you. You call upon Archangel Michael or whatever. Okay, don't do it to your head. Go to your heart and have your spirit make sure that you are getting Archangel Michael. It will never betray you. And have it come into your heart center. And then from there you're connected. And stay in there and get your guidance. Yes. Yeah.